Hey everybody, welcome back to the Night Butterfly channel. Today we're going to talk about why Squidward, one of the main characters of the iconic TV show SpongeBob SquarePants, is the best character in the entire show by just a huge margin. Squidward is overshadowed by the likes of SpongeBob and Patrick, because the show is obviously called SpongeBob SquarePants, of course it's going to be about SpongeBob. But I believe that Squidward is the most complex and well-developed character in the entire show. So join me today as we dive into why Squidward is the most important character in the SpongeBob SquarePants franchise. Firstly, Squidward's personality is what makes him stand out from the rest of the characters. He is the grumpy, sarcastic and pessimistic character who always finds himself at odds with Spongebob and Patrick. However, underneath his gruff exterior lies a sensitive and creative soul. A few times on the show we see Squidward's sensitive side show. Despite his anger and frustration at Spongebob, deep down we know he really does care about Spongebob. We see this in episodes such as The Graveyard Shift and Squidville. Squidward is an accomplished artist, musician and dancer, which makes him a well-rounded character with depth and complexity. One of the most important things about Squidward in my opinion is how relatable he is on this show. He is one of the most relatable characters I have ever seen in animation. We all have days where we feel grumpy and just want to be left alone, just like Squidward. We also understand the frustration that comes with dealing with annoying neighbours and co-workers or classmates, just like Squidward deals with Spongebob and Patrick. Squidward also struggles with art, music and finding purpose in his life which is really relatable to a lot of people, you know, maybe they might be stuck in a dead end job or they just don't know what they want to do for the rest of their lives, like that is a daunting question to ask anybody and I kind of feel like Squidward gives us a little bit more of a character to like, connect to, especially how enthusiastic Spongebob actually is in this entire show. Thirdly, Squidward is one of the funniest characters in the show. His dry and sarcastic wit often goes over the head of Spongebob and Patrick, and obviously a lot of the children that watch. But it's definitely a hit with the adult audience. And hey, what could be better than serving up smiles? Being dead, or anything else. <laughs> Squidward's misadventures, whether it's trying to impress his rival Squilly and Fancy Son, or failing miserably at talent shows, they're always entertaining to watch. Squidward's humour is subtle, but it's one of the reasons why he's such a beloved character in my opinion. <laughs> Lastly, Squidward's character development is one of the most impressive aspects of his character. While SpongeBob and Patrick, they largely stay the same throughout the show's run, Squidward undergoes significant changes. He learns to appreciate SpongeBob and Patrick's friendship, he develops a romantic interest in his neighbour Squilvia, and even becomes a mentor to SpongeBob in some episodes. Squidward's growth as a character makes him relatable and endearing, and it's a big reason why he's the best character on the show. Character development, in my opinion, is absolutely essential when you're creating any character in any style of media. I'm going to review an episode that perfectly sums up Squidward's character in my opinion, and that's none other than the aforementioned Squidville. The episode begins with SpongeBob and Patrick playing with their newly bought reef blowers. They decide to give Squidward's house a makeover, but end up defacing the entire house. Squidward asks for his house and obviously the way it looks to be returned to normal, which SpongeBob and Patrick just destroyed Squidward's house entirely. This is the final straw for Squidward, as he has taken enough crap from Spongebob and Patrick in the entire series. He then sees a commercial for a village called Tentacle Acres, where he can live amongst his own kind. Which are octopuses by the way, I don't know why he's called Squidward, because he is an octopus. Maybe Octowood just wasn't catchy enough. <laughs> He arrives at Tentacle Acres, it's a paradisical place for Squidward, it's everything he hoped it would be. Once Squid settles down, he's about to start his new life. Spongebob and Patrick then attempt to bribe Squidward to come back home, which Squidward is absolutely not interested in that offer. Squid's life begins and he's completely blissful, and we get to my favourite scene from this entire episode. They won't have... <gasps> wow! 
they have it. Canned bread. <laughs> Squidward continues living his new life, but it starts to take a bit of a dark turn. Everything becomes the same. He essentially lives the same day, just over and over and over and over and over and over and over. After a while, Squidward is bored and he's in the park where he discovers a reef blower. And Squidward can't resist the temptation and he decides to have fun with it. Which he then starts getting a little bit too carried away and begins causing terror throughout Tentacle Acres. Spongebob and Patrick turn up to the village and they try and find him but they're unsuccessful, as the real Squidward has found his true self. He may seem miserable but he needs Spongebob in his life, he needs that balance of good and bad to make him whole and the episode ends with Squidward flying high and Spongebob and Patrick even say well that guy's clearly not Squidward even though it's the real Squidward. So in conclusion, Squidward is the best character in SpongeBob SquarePants because of his unique personality, relatability, humour and character development. He's a well-rounded character with depth and complexity, and his misadventures and dry humour make him a fan favourite. So next time you watch SpongeBob, don't overlook Squidward, as he's the real star of the show. And that is the end of today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to apologise for the Clarence video being taken down, I didn't really edit it well enough to avoid the copyright so it got blocked worldwide, but thank you all for the support, that's why I made this video today because I didn't want to leave you guys waiting too long before another video, so here you go, hopefully you enjoyed this one. And yeah, thank you all for the support and subscribing, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.